Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and brief review video and I'll be presenting the RBC Visa Infinite Avion credit card. Uh, this is a travel credit card and it, it provides flexible rewards options and uh, at the same time this is a hybrid uh, rewards uh, credit, cards, credit card. W what it means that uh, the points you receive uh, from RBC Visa Infinite Avion, they can be used either as uh, a proprietary points or you can transfer or convert it to airline and other uh, points uh, which I'll go through uh, slowly. Now, before the unboxing, uh, let's mention that I would like to mention that this is not a paid or affiliated review. Uh, I'm not affiliated with any bank or any credit card companies. So, the review you'll see on my website and YouTube channel are totally unbiased and honest, and you'll find an honest opinion here because I'm not providing any uh, affiliated links where you can click and go through the credit card sites so I can make some money. I don't do that. So this is totally honest opinion. So let's start with the unboxing and then uh, before that uh, some other features you may be interested in this card is that uh, you get uh, 3 cents per liter uh, discount on gas stations at Petro Canada and also uh, the reverse structure uh, which I'll go through uh, shortly. So let's uh, start the unboxing first. So here we have uh, the package and or package or envelope so I'll take out the card from here and okay so I'll put this here uh, let's set it aside a little bit here so here's the welcome letter and here is the brochure or uh, information folder which is inside the letter so let's take out everything here and I'll put the uh, welcome letter set aside for now and the credit card is right here so here we have the certificate of insurance and uh, this card provides one point for every dollar purchase and you get 1.25 uh, points uh, for each dollar spent on travel categories and then you have it has some accelerated categories for example you get uh, two points at uber and Saks fifth avenue however i was not able to find this information on rbc website so in order to make sure you may want to call rbc uh, if you would like to make sure about that accelerated point for uber and Saks fifth avenue and uh, let's take a look at uh, the insurances it comes with so you ha it has medical travel insurance and then it has uh, travel accident insurance auto rental collision loss damage insurance and trip in cancellation trip interruption insurance emergency purchase and flight delay hotel motel burglar insurance and purchase security and extended warranty insurance in terms of insurance, the thing I like about this card is the insurance is provided by RBC Credit, RBC Insurance Company. It's not any third-party insurance company uh, like uh, Scotia, Gold MX, or Capital One Credit Cards, where the insurance car company has a bad reputation about providing or uh, giving you the claims when you go through the claim. So you are dealing with RBC directly here, and in general, uh, they are. Uh, you have more chances of obtaining your claims from RBC than any other third-party insurance which have lots of uh, uh, bad reviews and comments online uh, so, uh, for example the insurance company which uh, provides insurance for Scotia Gold MX or Capital One credit cards is the American banker uh, insurance company in Florida and if you go through the website or read reviews they have lots of uh, you know people are having lots of problems with them to claim their insurance or to get help when they need it but with RBC uh, you're supposed to have uh, those uh, problems you're less likely to have those problems so that's the thing I like about this card so travel medical insurance uh, 
RBC provides travel medical insurance for 15 days if you are under uh, 65 and if you are over 65 then it comes down to uh, 3 days which is uh, normal for uh, most other can Canadian credit cards. So here I highlighted some of the sections and uh, in terms of the value of the insurance I couldn't find anywhere how much is the actual value. So most other Canadian card credit cards provide 1 million or 2 million dollars however it doesn't mention anything here so I'm going to assume that this is unlimited coverage but you can actually call RBC and confirm that if you uh, need to. So we'll go through this quickly. Let's take a look here. Uh, some of the insurance I always look for in a travel credit card is that uh, trip cancellation, trip interruption, flight delay, uh, those sorts of insurance. So it has travel accident insurance, uh, which is uh, $500,000 in general. And uh, let's go to the next insurance, which I'd like to show you. Auto rental collision and loss damage insurance. And the next one would be... Trip cancellation and trip interruption insurance. That's the most important insurance. From a travel credit card, you'd require uh, if you are paying your trip with that travel credit card. So this credit card actually provides fifteen hundred dollars for trip cancellation, which is the maximum amount. Uh, I'm sorry, which is the maximum amount per person. And if you are more than one person, then your over overall maximum. Uh, goes up to five thousand dollars in total and then trip insurance interruption insurance is for each person five thousand dollars per trip and if you are more than one person uh, which is covered by the credit card company as well like your spouses uh, or spouse or children then the maximum amount goes to twenty five thousand uh, dollars which is pretty good and then here let's go through some other insurance coverages and emergency purchase and flight delay insurance so this is trip uh, flight uh, emergency purchase is uh, if you are what it means that if your luggage delay which is you know lost luggage or luggage delay insurance so if you are four hours late after your arrival of your flight uh, then the maximum amount you can get is up to five hundred dollars for any reasonable expenses and then uh, if there's more than one person the maximum uh, amount goes up to $25,000 $25, so this is the uh, flight delay uh, and then and this is the lost luggage insurance and let's go look at the flight delay insurance so again here it is af starts after four hours uh, of scheduled departure and then the amount is uh, $250 per day uh, which is up to a maximum and then the overall maximum for all members would be $500 for any one occurrence and again all these start after four hours some of the credit card uh, flight delay or lost luggage insurance is actually starts after uh, six hours so you're getting here four hours which is better than after uh, six hours so that's another thing to need uh, and then let's take a look here it has hotel motel burglary insurance um, other credit cards usually do not have that have this insurance not every credit card has that so rbc is one of them which offers this ins insurance and uh, the amount is up to a maximum of $2,500 per burglary occurrence and I don't see this there's no aggregate total here so $2,500 you get the total you get for each occurrence each travel okay so purchase security extended warranty this is common in every credit card uh, we don't need to talk about that and here is nothing else so I'll set this aside here and uh, we have here RBC credit card agreement so this is a, just a standard credit card agreement for RBC uh, 
not much to mention here. Just see it's a long piece of paper and you're supposed to go to each of them in a print paper. So we we'll just set it aside here. And the next piece I have here is the disclosure statement. So there is nothing to mention here. It just talks about the interest rates and transaction fee, dishonored payment fee, foreign currency conversion fee, which is 2.5% this card charges. Uh, just like most other Canadian credit cards, only a few Canadian credit cards do not charge any foreign currency conversion fee Which you'll find on my YouTube channel. I have those credit cards listed there So I'll set this aside here And now let's get back to our credit card So this is the welcome letter and here this the letter and then We'll take out our card from here. Okay. So here's the RBC Visa Infinite Avion credit card. So this is a Visa Infinite series credit card. And what it means that I'll just set aside the credit card here. And what it means that you get the Visa Infinite coverage concierge service travel uh, which can arrange your travels and find out any information and basically they can do anything uh, when you call them and this is a free service provided by Visa Concierge so now let's talk about the point and how to get the maximum out of the credit card so any credit card which offers let's say proprietary points or hybrid points uh, whenever you're redeeming your points for things like cash redemption or to buy merchandise or to use uh, points directly from the credit card company to purchase flights or any travels then you lose value of the money so for the RBC points each point is one cent however uh, you're gonna lose value if you use that for uh, general merchandise or uh, cash uh, return or you buy a plane flight or other travel using RBC points so the best value you can obtain is to transfer them into airline points and this credit card uh, converts into a various airlines uh, for example British Airways, American Airlines, I believe Cathay Pacific and there might be something else but what I'm interested in is the British Airways Avios and from time to time British Airways runs promotion where for every uh, one point uh, they give you a bonus of 1.3 point or sometimes even 1.5 points so let's say if you're transferring 100,000 points, then you're going to end up with uh, British Airways Avios 130,000 or 150,000 points. And if you use these points uh, carefully or tactically, then you'll be able to get a lot of value out of your points. For example, if you use them for business class flights or other flights. But in order to do that, you need to know uh, how RBC, uh, how sorry, how British Airways avios points uh, work and uh, this is a distant uh, based uh, points structure uh, most other airlines offer zone based point redemption but rbc uh, sorry british airways avios offers a distant base so you have to know how the points uh, work the ins and outs of points then you'll be able to extract the maximum value of your rbc uh, visa infinite uh, credit card uh, points which you're going to convert to uh, British Airways Avios points you'll be able to extract the same value if you technically if you carefully uh, use it uh, convert it to American Airlines and use them to redeem uh, British uh, use them to redeem for business class flights so that's these are the ways you can get maximum value out of uh, the points for example if you have been watching watching my channel uh, you know that I just finished a Asia trip which I flew on business class return paying almost nothing or very little which came all from the credit card so if you technically or if you carefully uh, use the RBC British Airways Avios uh, Avion credit card and convert it to British Airways or American Airlines and if you know these points then you can get a lot of value out of this credit card for other uh, redemption it's not going to give you much value uh, you may get one cent per point uh, but let's say if you're redeeming the RBC uh, 
from RBC directly, which is uh, the RBC reverse points uh, where it works as a proprietary points, then you might get some little more value if you uh, redeem them uh, during high demand period than uh, low demand period. Uh, the list point you need to redeem uh, 15,000 uh, and then you can have short flights uh, within the province or short distance using RBC points and uh, what I can tell that uh, if you do so let's say you don't want to go through the hassle or if you don't want to redeem for British Airways or American Airlines and if you'd like to redeem from RBC directly then just to redeem it for high demand time or during those time when uh, you know plane fares goes up in that way you get more value and the insurance coverage is uh, excellent uh, and backed by RBC's own insurance which is the thing I like and I also like that you're getting the Visa Infinite uh, benefits uh, they provide lots of benefits uh, and then also the points are hybrid points so you have the flexibility you can either convert it to airline points or you can trans uh, convert for other uh, redemption directly from RBC so uh, that's uh, basically all for these RBC points and RBC uh, British uh, RBC Visa Infinite Avion credit card and if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing I have more credit card uh, reviews and articles on my channel and uh, there will be more so please subscribe and like and uh, I hope to see you shortly thank you